All right, well, nearly a month after the May storm that left millions in the dark, we are sitting down face to face with center point leaders and talking about the blow to our electrical infrastructure, the big price tag to fix it and how this could impact us if we were to get a hurricane. KPRC 2's Gage Golding sat down for nearly one hour long interview with center point executive vice president Jason Ryan for the first time since the storm. This is all new at 10 o'clock tonight. Well, thanks so much for having us here and, and sitting down to chat with us. Um, let's start with this. A lot of people across the Houston area had some sort of damage or impacts mm -hmm. from the storm. Center point, not spared either. We, as you said, uh, were impacted ourselves at our downtown headquarters. About 600 windows uh, that were uh, blown out or, or damaged. How can you help the community understand how big of a dent this put in your infrastructure? Sure, so uh, I think people by now have seen uh, pictures of the transmission towers that were significantly damaged. Do you have an idea how much did this storm cost Centerpoint? We don't have a final estimate yet, given that we are still in the restoration phase of this storm. It will be at least $100 million. Who's paying for that bill? This cost of restoration is one of those costs of providing service to our customers. So they, regulators will review those costs and will uh, allow rates to re reflect those reasonable costs of restoration going forward. Customers will end up paying for that, that tab. That's right. How much yeah. would that cost me on my monthly bill? Something less than a dollar a month, around a dollar a month. One of our viewers, our KPRC chief viewer, Ranger1994, he asked this question. He said, Centerpoint should have a fund for such damage without increasing rates. What can Centerpoint do to keep rates down? Fair question. So there are a couple ways that rates could be set. You could set rates that way. Um, that's not how the state has chosen to set rates for utilities like us. Where are we at with the outage map? How did, how did, how did it fail? Yep. And do you feel like it failed the customers? Yeah, we know we didn't meet customer expectations when that wasn't available when they needed it most. Uh, and that's not acceptable to us or to our customers. We understand that. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of traffic um, on that website, uh, more than it was designed for, uh, and it failed. And we're working on a replacement project uh, that will have a new and improved outage tracker that will not have that same failure. And that was Gage Golding reporting. Gage's interview with Centerpoint Energy's Executive Vice President Jason Ryan lasted nearly an hour. You can watch the entire interview at click2houston.com. Danny?